The turbot is considered one of the finest species of fish and a reference in haute cuisine dishes. Allied to the delicate flavour, it is low in calorie content and has good levels of omega-3 and folic acid. On the Portuguese coastline, the turbot is fished by hand, being a valuable product for the fishermen, always with its sale assured in any market. Due to the strong demand, and in order to keep the sustainability of the turbot fishing, aquaculture of this species was developed in Portugal, finding here excellent conditions for its reproduction in captivity. In one of the most modern units in Europe, the turbot is raised simulating the conditions of its natural habitat, using water collected at sea being properly filtered and oxygenated in a complex system of pipes by large tubing. The used water is returned to the ocean, properly filtered and oxygenated, creating a natural and non-polluting cycle of this precious resource. In terms of production, it all starts with the small fish coming from the maternities, arriving at aquaculture units on special trucks prepared for this transportation. The cleanliness and temperature parameters are immediately evaluated before beginning its transfer to the pre-fattening tanks. At this stage, the juvenile fish reach a maximum weight of 15 grams. These juveniles will remain in the pre-fattening pavilion until they reach 100 grams. Feeding is provided 12 times a day by automatic feeders which run through all the tanks. On reaching the 100 grams, they are transferred to tanks for fattening and will remain here until they reach their slaughter dimensions. Throughout this process, fish are weighed and sorted between 6 to 8 times during their growing cycle. This task is essential to ensure batches of fish with similar dimensions in the same tanks avoiding the dispersion of sizes and adjusting the growing density. Despite this process being fast to avoid causing stress to the animal, it is also careful not to cause injury during handling. The feed at this stage is performed by a vehicle with information about the correct amount of feed for each tank. As a complement, the manual feed is performed as a method of assessment of the consumption habits and screening of potential problems in the tanks of growth. From the minimum weight of 500 grams, the turbot is ready for harvesting. The catch is done manually with nets. The fish, placed in water and ice, achieving a painless death due to the natural anesthesia caused by the cold. After this stage, the fish are transported to the processing plant where they are sorted by weight and packed in appropriate packages with ice. The entire process is performed in strict health and hygiene conditions under a controlled temperature environment. Now, in the final stage, the fish are stored in cold chambers until sold in the domestic or international market. Allied to the sustainability of marine resources, aquaculture has another important advantage that consists of the strict quality control of fish along its growth. The aquaculture turbot not only offers rich flavour and firm texture, similar to one caught in the ocean, but also a guarantee of its health quality through constant monitoring both by appropriate laboratory and independent entities. Being a fish with few spines, it has great use and it has been called since Roman times sea pheasant due to its exquisite flavour and firm and white pulp. <laughs>